Hey guys, it's Layla. Today we'll speak about ulcer crevus or leg ulcers. And ulcers are like loss of skin, which takes more than two weeks to heal. It can be a venous origin, arterial, or even both. The venous risk factors are varicose veins, previous deep vein thrombosis, phlebitis, which is inflammation of the veins, previous trauma, surgery. For arterial ulcers, you have chronic heart disease, stroke, transient ischemic attack, diabetes mellitus, obesity, and peripheral arterial disease. Clinical features for venous ulceration, they usually occur in the mid-cough on the lateral aspects of the leg, below the malleoli, and you have peripheral edema. In arterial, they usually occur on the anterior aspect of the leg, and they lack, typically lack edema. It can occur on the dorsum of the foot or the toes as well. With the venous, you have a moist base and with irregular borders. For the arterial, it is dry, greyish granulation and the edges are clearly defined. Venous ones can ooze blood. There is no blood in arterial ulcers. Nocturnal pain, which is relieved by hanging your legs off the side of the bed. For venous ulcers, you have pain that is relieved by elevating your legs. You can also have varicose eczema or hyperpigmentation with venous ulcers, lipodermatosclerosis. And for arterial, you can all have chronic ischemic features such as hairlessness, pale skin. Basically, the six P's, which are for peripheral arterial disease, pain, pallor, pulselessness, paresthesias, paralysis, and perishingly cold. You have to check for diabetes. Take a full blood count or ESR, eusinase, creatinine, also autoantibodies if there is any vasculitis. Magnetic resonance venography helps with management of recurrent varicosities and angiography is useful for assessing any embolism or thrombosis, etc. The ankle brachial pressure index, ABPI, is a very sensitive assessment of arterial disease. For venous ulcers, you can apply bandages to the leg with more pressure at the ankle and reducing um, pressure as you go up the leg. You can also have debridement and uh, antibiotics, topical steroids. For arterial, the treatment is directed more towards the cause. So you have to treat the PAD or whatever is causing the ulcer. Okay guys, that is it for this video. Take care. Bye.